I am Dr. Geetha Karnik Mantravati. I'm an infectious disease physician here at Indiana University Health Physicians, as well as the medical director at LifeCare. The World Health Organization has declared a monkeypox a global health emergency, and it is affecting us here in Indiana. We have about 62 cases in Indiana, but that's 62 that we know about. That doesn't really reflect the amount of monkeypox virus circulating, and um, so those numbers are, are bound to grow. Symptoms, typically you might have a prodrome of having a fever, muscle aches, headache, and then subsequently develop a rash. Um, the rash will really start off as small little macules and then progress and evolve into sort of blisters, crusting, and fall off. Interestingly, this has happened, we've been seeing in our patient population that it's, they've been seeing the rash before they've seen some of the other symptoms. Um, and right now, the community that it is first taken a hold in is men who have sex with men. But transmission can be amongst the community as a whole. Transmission from human to human can be done through four different ways. One, direct transmission from skin contact, so if you're in contact with lesions. Um, two, if respiratory secretions. Um, so if you're really in personal close contact for a prolonged period of time with someone who has been exposed, has monkey pox. But also it can be on surfaces, particularly linens and clothing. And we're just really trying to raise awareness that there are various modes of transmission and no one is um, immune to it. There are very good vaccines as well as treatment for monkeypox. So there are two vaccines out there that the FDA has approved. The one that we're predominantly using in Indiana is Genios, and it's a live vaccine, but it's non-replicating, and it has an excellent safety profile. And it's used for smallpox, which is in the same family as monkeypox. If after you've been exposed, you can get the vaccine between four to 14 days, it really can reduce trans you be becoming ill or reduce the symptoms and reduce viral shedding. Right now, you know, due to limited supply, we really are trying to focus on target groups and communities that are more, where the virus is more likely to circulate. And as we get more shipment, of course, it will be expanding. Right now, it's something that you can manage for the most part supportively outpatient. It's not fatal. We're not seeing it flooded into our inpatient hospital. Hospitals. But at the same time, you know, if you get monkeypox, you're considered contagious and could be spreading it for up to two to four weeks. And that, that's quite a bit of time. That's quality of life. And, you know, it's not a pleasant experience. And we're in the mode of just raising awareness and really wanting the community to not stigmatize people, not shun away and think that you're not going to be affected, but to be aware and practice the tips that we've been doing for since 2020, which really comes down to good hand hygiene, being aware of close contact, skin to skin contact, anybody who might be uh, expo have monkeypox or exposed to monkeypox. IU Health has partnered with the Indiana Department of Health to really, you know, be a resource for our community and be a place where they know us, they can come, we can reach out to them and get our vaccines rolled out.